I did have a little bit of an accident though. Look. Oh. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get some um, interfacing, put it behind and do a little zigzag stitch. It really won't affect this project because it's going to be hidden. Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are fine. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen Geely and on my channel I do refashioning of old or new clothing. Now what I like to do is to challenge myself when it comes to doing these refashioning projects. So I have a rough idea about what I'm going to do, but not totally. I mean, there may be some things that I plan to do and I totally changed my, change my mind and I'll walk you through that process. So I also tell you the reasons why I'm doing something and why I'm not doing something in order to produce a quality refashioned garments. So let's get started. Top. Now I'm going to put a little video of how it fits me about here. Um, it's, it's, it's fitted. I do like the length of the sleeve. Um, I don't think it's cut particularly well. There seems to be some issue with the underarm going towards the back. Um, but I do, I do like the top. It's got like a metallic painted effect on the fabric, so that's a knit. And then I have this man's jacket. Um, yeah, it's it's heavy. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking here, but what I want to do is just use the front of the jacket and not the rest of the jacket. And I want to include the collar as well into this top. So the first thing I'm going to be working on is the top and I want to cut it away, the front section here, I'm going to cut that, give myself an arch shape here, cut that away and that's basically all I'm going to be doing to the top. So I'll need to turn it onto the wrong side and then mark out the kind of shape that I'm aiming for. Um, so what I, ha I did was, I decided where I wanted to make my cut and made a curve into the seam of the top. And I've just realized that this is an overlock. So I think I can get my seam ripper and unpick. It should be good, so I want to save as much as this as possible. This is good. Yeah, so what I'm going to do then is just going to unpick on both sides of this so that I'm not losing anything from, you know, cutting away. I know it's in millimetres, but every millimetre matters, so I'm going to remove the stitching. I've now removed that section, which is quite nice. I'm hoping to use this actually within the project if I can. Um, so this is what it looks like. Just pull that sleeve out. There we go. That's nice. It's a nice shape. So I'm going to remove the front and also the collar. So let's just dive in, get my scissors and cut around. Then next, I remember I'm keeping this section here. So I'm going to need some seam allowance for the back. Just get in there and cut. Okay, let's release that. And it's just a case of doing the same for the sleeve. I'm just gonna go quite close to the stitch, get my scissors in there. Don't wanna cut the lining. So, get as close as I can to the stitching. So 
see now you can see the lining of the jacket okay and then I'll do the same on the opposite side now what I need to do is just cut uh, no I want to keep that hem so I'm just going to go into that seam there we go so I want to keep this finish here so and I also want to keep the hem towards the back so I'm going to just come a little bit away and cut into the lining put the first section free and the collar so I just need to do the same what I've done to this to the other side and then we'll have the collar that's going to connect keep a connection between the two so that's looking really gorgeous now I'm excited now okay so that'll be the next step is me to cut away the other section so we have them both here ready for it to be inserted into the top this is what I'm left with excellent so this is the front part of the jacket and it's just a case of getting the top ready for this to be inserted into the top I did have a little bit of an accident though look oh <laughs> so what I'm going to do I'm just going to get some um, interface and put it behind and do a little zigzag stitch it really will affect this project because it's going to be hidden that looks cute it looks cute yep I'm liking that because the jacket is quite long I might yes add this section to make it even the same length oh yes yes okay I'll pin first I'm trying to decide can't use a straight stitch because it's a knit um, I do need to use a zigzag stitch I should be okay yeah so I have attached the bottom section using a zigzag stitch and now happy with that let me just show you the right side that's what it looks like I place the jacket face down so I'm working on the back I'm going to start at the side seam so this is the big seam allowance I'm going to get my top and yes. I will line it up because I'm going to baste and try it on and see what it looks like now I'm going to remove that pin I want it to, to come yeah so it's going to be tapered a little bit so I'm just going to work with it So I want to make sure that the armhole comes into this section, the curved arch section, to some degree, and put a pin in there. So I'm going to base there and then do the same on the front, and then I'll try it on and I'll show you. I 
I am surprised by the fact that Batman is giving me covers. It's nice, it's a great fit. There are only two issues with it, but I am really happy with the fit. Yeah, it's, it's nice, yeah. I don't think, yeah, I'm happy with that. Let me just show you the back. It's a good fit, a really good fit. I, the, the collar has to be shown. So I'm going to cut away the front part of the collar of the neckline of the top so that I can reveal the collar of the jacket. And if it does turn round, you can see that, uh, you can see my skin there. And I'm not going to cut this away. May sew that onto there, don't know yet. Um, because I kind of like the way it is now but it definitely is an issue when it comes to the front. And the problem that I have with the jacket is that, I put my hands here, the shoulder of the jacket only comes to here, so I can't sew it into the um, seam of the actual top. And this is what, one of the reasons why it's, the arm's not fitting that great because the seam is going towards the back. The armhole, it meets at the armhole, so I know I can hand stitch that into position and then if I can get any part of the shoulder, yeah. So what will happen is that I will sew, hand sew it into the armhole here and then a little bit into the neckline, so that shouldn't cause any issues with it coming, coming away. Um, but it, it is what it is because I like what's happening here. And yeah. So the only thing I need to do then is just to make the neckline wider. That's it. That's the solution to the problem. So I'm going to fold it in half. Put pins in. I'm going to make sure this is nice and even. So let's just go for it. Should really be keeping this flat spot. into there. Let's see if it's a little bit happier. Yeah. Yeah, that looks, that, yeah, that definitely looks nice. Yes. Okay. So it means I'm going to have to try it on again. Um, I may just cut into, yeah, I'm going to do that anyway. Just cut into it, why not? All right, but I'm just gonna leave that like that for now. So next thing I'm just gonna focus on is sewing the side seams and then sewing the, the shoulders to this section. Here, it can't get to that point which I've mentioned earlier, and also hand sewing the some of the armor into the armor of the top. Yes, second fitting, and I am so happy with what I've done. Yeah, this is what it's meant to look like. Even even this bit. <laughs> Do you remember when I told you when I cut into that by accident earlier on in the project? That is so cute! I'm going to copy, uh, uh, yeah, I might copy it onto the other side. 
probably will do. I'm going to leave it, let it fray, let it do its thing. That's fine. Yeah, the neckline, I'm showing a bit of flesh, fine. So I'm going to cut the rest of this away. So I'm not going to be, yeah, limit my hand sewing. Yeah, it really has worked out really well. Yeah, happy with it. I'll quickly show you the inside of the jacket. So the two seams are now finished and I pink and sheared those edges. So I just turned it over and stitched them down into place. The hem is finished like so. And um, oh yeah, the shoulder. So I back stitch the shoulder here. So just keeping the front upper part of the jacket attached to the top. And I've sewn in the sleeve seam and uh, yeah that's it all done ready to be worn it's done it's completed yeah really i'm not sure whether to call it a jacket top or a top jacket mm. <laughs> um this is the color the result of color that's so cute it really is um turn it to the back yeah I love the completed project that I'm happy with. Now that was a successful refashion project. I love it. I really do. I mean, the fact that one fab, one garment was much more heavier than the other, one's knit, one's woven, mixing them together. Um, so many elements to work with. And the fitting was the key to this project though. Um, Cause the fitting was, one or two surprises with how well the front of the uh, top fitted and also the neckline played a big part. I needed to make sure that I got that right because I needed the collar to be the focus feature to the garment. So that stands out most rather than the pockets and I think I got the balance right. I really do. Um, it'll definitely get worn a few times. Well, it'll be, it'll be living in my wardrobe for a long time. So I saved uh, a top and also a man's jacket from end up in landfill because it's uh, garments that I have purchased from the charity shop. And yeah, this is what you can do. It's amazing, it really is amazing. So um, all I've got to say now is that if you enjoyed this video tutorial, please do share. And also if you have any comments or queries, then please put those in the comment box below and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it on all your platforms and tell your friends. And I will see you next time.